I want to take a minute to talk about upgrading your gear. Now, I know a lot of you are wondering if your current gear is still the right gear for you and you see all of the available options out there and you're wondering if it's time to level up. So let's talk about that right now. All right, so let's do it. Let's talk about it. Upgrading your DJ gear, going from one piece of equipment to something else. Or maybe this is your first purchase and you're currently just deciding between a couple different ones. Now, I receive a ton of questions on a daily basis when it comes to choosing equipment, either new or upgrading to something else. And in most occasions, I do not answer these emails because that's gonna take up a lot of my time because I have to start by asking a bunch of questions questions and at the end of the day what I tell everyone is it is all about personal preference and that's why I choose to make a video like this every once in a while answer this and hopefully help some of you out so if you're looking to upgrade from your current setup you need to decide what it is that's missing from your current gear that will help you to either have more fun because you like features that you saw on a certain device or that's gonna help you to enhance your performance, enhance your skill set. That's where you start. Is there anything wrong with the gear that you're currently using? Now, if the answer is no, then there basically is no reason to switch and quote unquote upgrade. And I see the same thing all the time. Now I'm always looking at all the new DJ gear, but the same goes for my video production. There's always new cameras coming out and every new camera is better and has new features and you name it. And it all sounds great. Anytime you see that entire list of new features, oh wow, it sounds amazing. But at the end of the day, do I really need it? In most cases, the answer is going to be no, or it's going to be something that I might do once I get to a certain level, either production wise, financially, you name it. Because of course, there's always better things out there that are of a higher quality. For instance, a light, I have a light right here. There are better lights available and they cost a lot more at a certain point I will upgrade. But for now I have a light I'm lit and I'm filming and it's working right so back to the dj gear and let's go into this question for now this is a question from a user who has an ns7 mark iii that's a beast of a controller with seven inch motorized platters let's read the question today i'm sending you this email in reference to the rain 72 mixer with 12 inch turntables so i assume you're talking about the rain 12s asking if i should invest in this equipment I've taken up DJing over six years ago and it only started out as a hobby. However, since then I've gotten more skillful in my craft and recently decided to take up scratching seriously. I've had over a month and a half now of knowledge and continuous practicing and within that time I leveled up my skill set. That's pretty fast. The Newmark NS7 is my current controller and by far it's my favorite controller simply because I have a soft spot for motorized platters. Same here. I've had this device now for over two years and she's still in great condition. Recently, I've been looking into purchasing another mixer slash controller and came across the Rain products, doing a lot of research and so forth, but I was wondering if such a device, the Rain 72 and Rain 12s, is suitable for my caliber. Again, I'm still learning scratching and I've been making great progress. Like I said, this is the type of question that I receive a lot. You have a current device, you see something else, it looks great, and now you're wondering if you should invest. Now, in this particular case, I really have to say I don't know. I don't know if you should invest, first off, because I don't know if you actually need something else than that beast of a controller that you currently have. You have an NS7 Mark III. Now, it has the seven inch motorized platters. The motorized platters are always gonna be a great option if you wanna learn how to scratch. So you're already good in that department. It also has a ton of features. It has a lot of features. So even there, it is a great controller. The Rain 72 mixer and Rain 12 controllers, motorized 12 inch platters, offer you the same in a different package. Now, of course, one difference is you will have larger motorized platters. There could be some advantages when it comes to that. It might feel a little bit better. Uh, but beyond that, you have to make a decision 
or you have to make a list for yourself. This is my NS7 Mark III. This is the range setup. What is missing here that I'm gonna get from this setup? Is there something besides maybe the bigger platters that is really appealing to me? If you're only using your setup at home, then I believe the one device is also a lot easier instead of having that uh, uh, three device setup. But that's personal, and that's what's so important. This is all about personal preference. You're gonna have to see what fits your budget. And in your case, look, maybe you have a lot of money laying around, but if that's not the case, I would definitely not invest in that setup if you're currently mostly or only playing at home and you already have something like that Newmark NS7 Mark III. I personally wouldn't do it, even though that rain setup is sexy as can be, and it's a great set. I mean, I have it, I use it, it's super dope. I, I don't have anything bad to say right now, but the same thing goes for that NS7 Mark III. I have the Mark I still, I have it here. I love that controller. Your Mark III can do a lot more than my Mark I over here can do. And when your question is, if it is suitable for your caliber, I can't decide that because I don't know how good you are, but that's really besides the point. Now, if you had an SB or Mixed Track Pro, like an entry-level controller, and you wanted to know if your level was suitable to go for something like that uh, uh, Pro setup, then I might take a, a, a look and ask you some more questions. But if you're doing well with an NS7 Mark III, um, you could probably work well with that range setup as well. You're not gonna run into a lot of issues. It's, a, it's a, like a small learning curve because there are a couple of differences, but at the end of the day, they're both controllers controlling Serato and they both have moving platters. Um, so if you're currently out there and you have a device, whatever it is, maybe an entry level controller, and you're thinking about upgrading, just take a look and ask yourself, what is it that's currently missing? Is there something that I don't have on my controller that will really add to my skill set, my performance, enhance my fun? If that's the case, make a list of the things that are missing and then you know what to look for when it comes to a different device. Now, again, you have to look at your budget. So some devices are gonna be inside of your budget, some are not. And then you also have to take into consideration that there's software that goes along with the hardware. So if you're currently using a controller that uses a certain type of software and you see another controller that you like but it's using different software, you're gonna to have to do some extra research to see if you're willing to make that switch from your current software to a different DJ software. Now, for some, that's a clear choice. So two years ago when Pioneer came out with the DDJ-1000, that was a great controller. And a lot of Serato users really liked that controller, but they decided not to make that switch to that controller because it only worked with record box and they were not ready, not willing to switch from their DJ software to different software. Now, of course, Pioneer heard their complaints and they released the SRT this year. So now there is a Serato version and now they're probably gonna get that one because they love the controller, but software is important as well. So even though I appreciate the questions and I'll always give feedback when I can, most likely with this topic, I'll make videos and I'll continue to make videos like this, but really you need to just do a lot of research. And again, the most important thing is, do you need anything else than the current device that you're using? We're all tempted. I see a lot of dope gear out there all the time. Camera gear, DJ gear, you name it. The new toy is always the hottest thing out there, but do you really need it? So that's it. I wish you the best of luck with your decision. That goes for everyone out there looking for new gear. And I'll be back soon with more videos. I hope this was helpful. If so, make sure you like the video, share the video, share the knowledge. Now, if you're new to my channel, this is a channel all about educational DJ videos. I have over 400 videos on the channel. So make sure you subscribe and activate notifications so you won't miss out on any of my future videos. If you wanna ask me questions, you can do it right here in the comment section. You can send me an email, share the knowledge at DJ tlm.com or check me out on social the handle is dj tlm and instagram would be the best place to check me out send me a dm with a question and i'll get back to you as well all right that's it for now thanks for watching